David, I cannot show you everything. Okay, well, can you show me one thing? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're discussing the cast of Schitt's Creek before the show. He's, um, well, he died the day you were born. There, I said it. Well, <laughs> well, well, things well. happen in that show that I don't wish on anyone. There's a kiss at the end of the rainbow. For this list, we're looking at what the actors from the hit Canadian sitcom were up to prior to its 2015 premiere. Which of these cast members is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Tim Rozon. So you're talking about how nice it is not to talk, but you're still talking about it. I mean, yeah, I'm not a mute. <laughs> well, that is an understatement. Prior to bringing the character of Mutt to life on Schitt's Creek, actor Tim Rozon had earned a few credits to his name. Perhaps most notably, he played Tommy Quincy in the Canadian show Instant Star. 12.05. It's officially your birthday. Don't quite know what to get the girl who almost has it all, so tell me what you want. The series, which ran from 2004 until 2008, was a fan favorite. Other television projects he's been a part of include playing Andrew on Being Human, Massimo the Druid on Lost Girl, appearing in two episodes of 19.2 and Heartland, and an episode each of Flashpoint and Rookie Blue. That's quite a smack your owner gave you. She's not my owner. Of course, she was just saving your life. Some people are crazy about their pets. As for movies, he could be seen in A Sister's Revenge, Long Gone Day, as well as Unearthing, among others. I'm really sorry about all this, officer. I was just having a misunderstanding with my girl. Rozon has not slowed down since his time on Schitt's Creek came to an end, either. And we love to see it. Look, it's been my experience that uh, romantic entanglements, they can alleviate all kinds of stress. Okay. Number nine, Dustin Milligan. Maybe this can be your thank you. That's a dog treat? Looks like a real treat. What am I going to do now? Before he became the vet with a heart of gold, Dustin Milligan could be seen in a number of different films and television shows. Namely, he appeared as Ethan Ward for 24 episodes of 90210. So wait, you have to lie for a guy you don't even like? We're teammates. It's, it's different. Yes, if we weren't on the same team, maybe I wouldn't hang out with him, but we are. But that's not all. The actor also appeared in Final Destination 3, The Butterfly Effect 2, and Love at the Christmas Table. Hey! Ho! Get out of here! Ho! Hey, go! Let's go! Let me out! Ho! Let's go! On top of that, He's also racked up a number of brief guest stints on shows such as Silicon Valley and Supernatural over the years. I thought to myself, huh, where do ghosts come from? Now, here I am. Additionally, when Schitt's Creek began its run, Milligan landed a recurring role on X Company as Tom Cummings. Hey boys, need a hand? Oh, pretty much finished. Long way from chemistry class, huh? Needless to say, we will always have a soft spot for the actor behind Ted Mullins. <laughs> Number 8. Jennifer Robertson There is no doubt that in bringing Jocelyn shit to life, Jennifer Robertson proved to everyone just how talented she is. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, Jocelyn, is that you? Yes. But this was far from being her first role. Most notably, fans of the Twitches movie starring twins Tia and Tamara Mori will recognize her as Ileana. Oh my gosh, you are so ready. I can just, oh no, but I won't. Although I, no, how weird would that be, right? Okay, good luck. Furthermore, she had an important role as Angela Montclair in Winging It, appearing in all 51 episodes of the show. Oh, Carl, honey, you're not a dweeb. You're just a little unlucky. The actress also guest starred in a number of other projects, including but not limited to Point Blank, Hannah Montana, The Dating Guy, Degrassi The Next Generation, Nikita, and Saving Hope. Excuse me, ma'am, but we'd like to get off. And I'd like a job where I don't have to smile all the time, no matter how annoyed I am. <laughs> we hope she never stops gracing our screens. Number 7, Noah Reed. Are you sure? <laughs> Easiest decision of my life. <laughs> what was Noah Reed up to before he swooped in and won all of our hearts as Patrick on Schitt's Creek? Well, among other things, he played Kevin in the short-lived television series Kevin from Work. Oh my god, you're right. There's no way she would get her mail before she left for work tomorrow. I can undo this! I just have to go to her apartment tomorrow and plead with the mailman to give it to me. He also guest starred in Annie Murphy's The Plateaus, appeared in Degrassi The Next Generation, and was on Naturally Sadie. It's too late. They're gonna stick me in prison. We're gonna go out together with you as my hostage. 
Not to mention he played Gunther in Jane and the Dragon, brought Marshall to life in Black Hole High, was Ryan in Backpackers, and voiced the lovable turtle Franklin in the show of the same name. Don't worry, Fox, I'm coming! In just a minute. In short, Noah Reed undoubtedly has a pretty versatile list of credits to his name. Number 6. Emily Hampshire this Montreal, Quebec, Canada native brought spunk, sass, and loads of heart to Stevie Budd. Maybe this time I'll win. But she certainly was not sitting idle before she landed that role. Hampshire's credits on the movie front include Boy Meets Girl and Cosmopolis, among others. You know what today is? Incidentally, I know. It's my day off, damn it. I know this. I need this extra day desperately. As for television, she had roles in many shows, like Carl Squared, Anne of Green Gables, the animated series, Braceface, and Ruby Gloom, just to name a few. Is this it? Is this what you're looking for? Oh my God. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Plus, as Schitt's Creek began in 2015, Hampshire worked on 40 episodes of 12 Monkeys, where she portrayed Jennifer Goines. You're Leland's daughter. Yes and no. I am a Goines. I was a daughter. Daddy's feeding the worms. We have no choice but to stand. Number 5. Chris Elliott Elliott was the quirky and somewhat chaotic, but always well-intentioned rolling shit on the beloved sitcom. Okay, well, looks like you got all the channels except for Channel 19 for some reason. I don't know why. But his credits prior to 2015 are also noteworthy. Namely, you could see him on the big screen in Groundhog Day, There's Something About Mary, The Dictator, and some of the films from the Scary Movie franchise. <clears throat> Let me just drop a tip here. Okay. Then on the small screen, he was a Saturday Night Live cast member in the mid-90s, appeared in The Naked Truth as Bradley Crosby, was Larry Heckman in Cursed, was the voice of Dogbert on Dilbert, and portrayed Chris Monsanto on Eagle Heart. Okay, fine. Well, you know something, Chief? Why don't you get somebody to move those pictures over to the unavenged side, okay? There's something I need to finish. In addition, he had multiple guest roles worth mentioning. Mainly, the actor played Peter McDougal on Everybody Loves Raymond and Mickey on How I Met Your Mother. Dad, what happened to your apartment? Oh, well, I had a little falling out with my roommate. What happened? Uh, he wanted me to pay rent. <coughs> Got kind of ugly. Clearly, Chris Elliott is not afraid of hard work. Well, don't be frightened, child. This is just Mr. Kittles. Number 4. Annie Murphy I'm sorry for not responding to, like, one text, David! Before she became everyone's favorite socialite with enough stories to last a lifetime, Alexis Rose, Annie Murphy was slowly working her way up in the entertainment industry. I'm getting married in seven hours. Good for you. She landed parts in movies like Lethal Obsession, Story of Jen, and Lick. At the same time, Murphy accumulated a number of minor television guest spots. For example, she was on The Beautiful Life TBL, Blue Mountain State, Rookie Blue, and Beauty and the Beast. I knew I should get involved with him, but I couldn't help myself. I was drawn to him. Lastly, in 2015, the year that brought us Schitt's Creek, Murphy co-created and starred in a comedic web series titled The Plateaus. Well, actually, a fan proposed to me at one point, so that was really humbling. Alexis Rose may have been her breakout role, but it was definitely a long time coming. And now, there is no stopping this star from shining. I'm a little bit of la 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 a little bit of Alexis. Number 3. Dan Levy David can cook. I can't cook. You got that teppanyaki table for your bar mitzvah. That was thrown out after Alexis left her extensions on it and everything smelled like burnt hair. Before embodying the iconic David Rose and his sweaters, Levy worked at MTV Canada. Notably, he hosted The Hills Live After Show and MTV Live. Okay, <laughs> I will absolutely do that. Um, what do you possibly do in Lauren's situation? Well, he even had his own holiday special on the network. As for acting, he can be linked to superstar Kelly Clarkson, as he appeared in her Behind These Hazel Eyes music video. You have to look closely to spot him, though, because he's only briefly in the background. Hold on. There I am. <laughs> yeah! Additionally, Dan Levy did what every good Canadian actor does and booked a recurring role on the eighth season of Degrassi The Next Generation as Robbie. Yeah, I'm the producer and I loved her. 
He also had parts in such films as Admission, Stage Fright, and Cyberstalker. Okay, I'm your tour guide. There's no point trying to impress me. I have absolutely no power over your fate here. To put it plainly, we're happy to watch whatever Dan Levy is in. Next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? What does fold in the cheese mean? Number two, Eugene Levy. It's called Shit's Creek. And it's where we live. Eugene Levy's career spans decades. The man behind Johnny Rose notably made waves in Canada with his work on SCTV. Okay, I guess it's time to play the game. Tom, you know how we play. Furthermore, he often collaborated with Christopher Guest, co-writing and starring in a number of his works. Many of those movies, like Waiting for Guffman, A Mighty Wind, and Best in Show, included Catherine O'Hara. She was very popular back then. She had dozens of boyfriends. Hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah, hundreds. I did not know that. <laughs> Plus, Levy's portrayal of Jim's dad in the American Pie movies earned the Canadian actor mainstream recognition in the United States, which led to continued success. I was just uh, walking by your uh, your room, and uh, and you you know I was thinking, uh, boy, it's been a long time since we've had the little father son. Uh, uh, chat. Other projects he's been in include New York Minute, Cheaper by the Dozen 2, and Medea's Witness Protection. This is not happening. I a Ponzi scheme? A Ponzi scheme? Walter, where are the investors' monies? With over 100 acting credits to his name, this barely scrapes the surface in terms of what this international comedy icon has accomplished. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Catherine O'Hara Now is not the time to lose focus, darling. This was your idea. You're the one who allegedly made the enchiladas. Yes, so try to keep up. Catherine O'Hara's illustrious career began long before she flawlessly brought film and television's Moira Rose to life. For one thing, she starred in numerous projects alongside her Shits co-star Eugene Levy, such as the comedic SCTV and Christopher Guest movies like For Your Consideration. Oh, an Oscar. Oh, okay. No, thank you. Additionally, O'Hara has appeared in such projects as Beetlejuice, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and Frankenweenie all of which came from the mind of Tim Burton, either as a producer or director. I would rather talk about... Of course, the actress also left her mark as mom Kate McAllister in Home Alone and its sequel Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. This is far from being an exhaustive list, because that is just how talented Catherine O'Hara is. The best part? We're sure there's still much more to come. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.